is a fast dinner idea you can make off the top of your head. It's a version of the classic family favorite, beef stroganoff served in a soup bowl. Becky Lowe is sharing the how-to. It's always a good day when it smells like dinner at, you know, 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for lunch. I know, right? <laughs> Serve it up. Why do you like this recipe, Becky? Because one, you said it was fast and it is. And two, this time of the year, we just love, love, love soups. You know, those mm. warm, comfy, brothy soups. And, and so this is taking that classic recipe and the flavors that we love and putting it into a soup. And so you're ready to go. I've already made soup twice this month. I guess that's not all that much. My husband's not a soup fan. So he comes oh. home and he's like, oh, it's fall. Oh, it's <laughs> soup season. I say, yes, it is. I'm adding this one to our menu. You need to, because if he likes stroganoff, he will love this I one. I think he would. It's a little more hearty okay. of a soup, it is. right? Uh -huh. How it do is. we get going? Okay, first off, um, this is about the size of pan that I would use for the normal recipe. And rather than ground beef, what I'm using is a steak. And so I have some already here mm -hmm. uh, that, in fact, if you can see inside where it's been browned, yeah. I put a little bit of butter in there and you want those nice brown juices. And then I set it off to the side and cut it into bite-sized pieces. Okay. Okay, so it's not cooked, but it's brown. Okay, so one of the reasons that we do this rather than the hamburger mm -hmm. is that we can get that nice brown color quick rather than, um, you know, you have to cook the hamburger completely and cook out all the right. juices before you get to this this stage okay. and so this this actually creates it faster speeds it up okay next it's to this we will want to add um, a little bit more butter to the pan okay and it's not quite hot enough but that's okay and then we're gonna add our vegetables to it so the only thing that I don't have on this tray that I would normally put in are the mushrooms okay and so we'll just put all these into the pan we want to saute those let me just get that a little bit of garlic so I have celery onion garlic Yum. mushrooms I'm gonna put that off the side Yum. and we'll saute those until they're nice and brown which is what we have right here here it is Okay. Oh my goodness, I just love this Smell place. so good. <laughs> okay, so we sauteed it. You want to saute it until it, it starts to turn opaque and also when um, you can see that it's nice and brown on the bottom of it. Okay. Okay, now a little bit of flour to this and uh, normally this is going to be a little bit hotter than what we have and so we'd partially cook that flour. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to give you this. And the flour this. acts as a thickening agent for us? It does, slightly. Okay. We don't want a lot of thick, we just want a little bit of thick to it. Mm -hmm. Because it's soup, it's not a gravy. All right, and then beef broth, Here or beef stock, uh huh? And put in a little bit to begin with, that's good. Okay. Because you have that flour in there, then it's going to thicken up really quick. Okay, so add some more. Here it comes. Okay, and while you're doing that, one ingredient, okay, now you can go ahead and add about half more of this. Okay. All right, to this, there we go, good. We want to add a little bit of beef bouillon. Now I use a lower salt broth, okay. so I can add the bouillon so I can get extra flavor so with it. So that's a lot of flavor you're okay. packing and in And then we'll add our meat to this, and we'll cover it and simmer it until the meat and the vegetables are tender. Yeah, see, Mark's gonna love this. This is not a ah, wimpy soup. Yeah. Oh, and one other thing that we want to add to it is a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Okay, now, um, uh, let me come back to this one because I forgot this. This is what creates flavor. You know, sometimes it's just that little bit of flavor, little bit of spice that really boosts the flavor. So mm -hmm. what we're adding is some sweet paprika okay. to this. Okay. You're well, packing it in. Ah, I like you know, it. it's wonderful. Layer the flavor. All right, so here we go. Here we've steamed. We're cooked up. Oh. We're ready to go. You know, it's not really, really mm. thick, um, but it's nice and, and brothy. Yeah. But we need some noodles with it. Okay, and you don't need a lot of noodles with this. And so here's just a little bit of tip. This is, my mother used to say, until it looks good. And I always hated <laughs> that concept. What does that mean, Mom, really? Uh, this is about until it looks good. <laughs> okay. So That's basically it? you want to, yeah, you, you're not putting a lot in because you just want some noodles and the noodles have a tendency to absorb the moisture. So if you put in too many, then you're not gonna have the, the nice, juicy, brothy uh, consistency. So just it. a generous handful. Mm -hmm. And give that a stir in. What do you want? There we go. You know, anything to just stir those noodles in. Oh, okay. And we just cook those until they are nice and tender, put the lid on and you have soup. You so were you actually when you have this. Fast. Mm, it is. We've done it in stages, which yeah. is really, really fast. Right, that but, definitely speeds it up. But this is fast. It's basically enough time to um, sear the meat yeah. and cook the noodles because, and then it, it's together. We can handle that. What a great dinner time meal. And you've served it, I mean, you've dressed it up beautifully oh, with just a know, little bit of garnish on top. Yes, and you have to add the sour cream. That's part of what makes stroganoff. So a good dollop stirred into it, and then a good dollop on top of each bowl. Becky, thank you. On behalf of everyone watching, because this will be on a lot of dinner tables, I'm guaranteeing. Good, 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 tonight. Uh, yeah, this weekend. Thank you so much. We yeah, appreciate it. Look for the recipe on our website, studio5.ksl.com.